Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing slash review. Today we are checking out Arjuna. So, reason I went with him today over uh, like the giant pa sitting next to me is his banner is coming up pretty soon for Arjuna Alter. So I figured, hey, maybe it'll bring me some good luck uh, when I end up rolling for him. So if you're into that, do look out for the video. As soon as uh, Lost Belt 4 drops, I think we've got maybe a week or so before his banner drops as well. So I'll definitely be going for him because like strongest berserker in the game. But for now, we'll check out his archer form, the OG Arjuna. I do have this in game, so good for me, yay. I'm sure a lot of you do as well because he's a non-limited servant. He'll show off eventually if you keep rolling. Um, also, I, I don't know why, but I feel like some kind of weird special connection to him. Maybe it's because of his hair. His hair does look a lot like my hair when I let it grow out for way too long, especially like this little curl thing he's got going on. So, I don't know. I like him. I like his design. If I ever were to cosplay someone, it would definitely be him because I think I could I could probably pull it off. Not that I plan on cosplaying anytime soon. Maybe maybe one day. Get, get me to a million subs and I'll, I'll cosplay Arjuna. Easy. Uh, but for now, we will take a look at his Nendoroid. Let's see. Where are the easiest take bits to pull off? There we go. Got quite a bit of pieces over here. Strange that they went with three instead of four, but hey, less take for me to peel off. Alright. Get rid of all of that. Actually, wait, we should check this out real quick. Let's see. He's got quite a bit of parts here. Stuff to go with his Noble Phantasm as well as like attack animations. Very nice. All right, let's put that away for now. Oop. And what do we have in here? So we've got the arrow effect parts, a couple of extra arms and hands. Uh, this thing here, I believe, goes on his arrow case thingamabob. And then, of course, you've got all the extra bits to hold things up and whatnot. Let's put that aside for now. There we go. Let's see what you look like in the plastic. Get you out of the way. His hair is browner than on the pictures. Although I suppose everyone with black hair generally, it's a dark shade of brown for most people. Like if you look real close, it looks brown. Get rid of that. All right, there he is, looking very cool. I love the design of his outfit. Like the blues and the purples look really good. Very nice indeed. Plus he's got that purple bit. Can I take off his outfit? Is that a thing to get him to look like his other ascensions? I don't think I can, but you can see it at the side here. It kind of comes through a little bit. They could have definitely done a deluxe version of him, that's for sure. I hope they do deluxe versions of everything. Give me multiple ascensions. Although knowing me, I'll only ever use the last one. But very nice. Do these things move? Yep, they do. They're on ball joints over there. Very nice. What about your legs? Legs are on the old style of joint. That's a shame, but I'll take it. I can make do with that. Okay, very nice. We've got that little thing over there. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's put that back for now. Oh, someone's calling me. Brilliant. Who was that? Let me check my notifications on my phone. It's my mom. I'll call her later. She's like a few doors down. Uh, all right, then we have faceplate number one here. There's a bit of a scuff mark there. Is that on 
permanent wheel. Nope, looks like it can rub off. Looks like everything can kind of rub off. Uh, I'll deal with that later, but there we go. Looking cool. And we have nice little smiling face there. I guess it must be the darker paint that kind of is got a bit of scuff marks here and there from thicker paint, I guess. I'm assuming that's what it is. Then here we have his arrow case, which you do put the stickers on. Of course, it's just blank without it. We've got his arrows here. I think these are his arrows. What are these? Where do these go? Hold on. I haven't actually used him in game. Oh yeah, his arrows are just kind of like a flat thing. Interesting. So they go into his bow like over there. Hmm. The more you know. So we've got this flat looking arrow and then we've got one that has like a corkscrew kind of thing going on over here. Hmm. As well as that also has the hand that holds it attached to it. Nice. And then we have here Pashpata, his noble phantasm, where he like condenses an energy ball and kind of blows stuff up. There we go. Does it have film on it? Doesn't look like it. So that is good as it is. And then finally we have his bow which I'm a big fan of. I love the color blue and I love transparent things. So this is definitely gonna be on whatever his final pose is. It's got a cool front design as well, as well as this little coil bit there. Very cool stuff. And that is it for what's in the box. So let's get on to some poses. All right, first up we have um, the edgy pose. I don't really know what this is. He's kind of, you know, it's kind of looks like Gladion from Pokemon Sun and Moon, you know, when he does all the weird hand stuff, like the, uh, the power kind of move, I guess, you know, is his eyes of power or whatever it is. It quakes with pain or something, you know, it kind of looks edgy, um, but of course it's really easy to do. All you do is swap out the hands and uh, put the bow, the blue bit away. You can pull it off apparently, which I didn't expect, but that's a thing. Why would you ever choose to do that though? Cause it's so much cooler with it on, but you can pull it off if you want and then give him this edgy looking thing. Also, you can use the wrong hand and it'll look backwards or you could use the right one, <laughs> up to you. Um, but yeah, real simple to do. It is a cool pose, I'll admit. I, I like the edgy stuff. I like Tokyo Ghoul too, you know? Even though I'm over the age of 13, I still do the finger clicking thing, but I don't do this eye thing. And if you do, please stop, get some help. Anyway, that, that's it for this pose. Let's move on to the next one. All right, next up is his noble phantasm, Pashpata, if I'm pronouncing that right, hopefully I am. Uh, where he's like, you know, floating in the air, so you use the bent leg and kind of angle them a bit better than I did, hopefully. And I guess you can flare his, like, little side flaps. He's like a Gundam, you know? Gundams have these side flaps, and I guess Arjuna does too, so he must be a Gundam. So, you can flip your Gundam side flaps to the side, uh, to make it look like he's floating a bit more. And, uh, angle him to sort of look at the, uh, the effect part but not quite, because if you go all the way, it kind of looks like that, which you don't want, because the arm is a little too short and the thing is too big around it. But it's okay. It's not the best effect, in my opinion. Like, I think it could be a bit better, especially with the fact that it's 2D. If it had, like, things spiraling outwards, then it would look a bit more, you know, eye-catching, but... This is okay, I guess from a distance or in photos, you might not notice that it is like the way it is, but eh, I'm gonna take a pass on that one. But the way you put it together is real simple. You use the default stuff and you switch out the hand piece for the one with the hole in it, and then just plop your Noble Phantasm on top. And uh, there you go, you've got yourself one Arjuna doing his Noble Phantasm. Of course, this would be in midair as well, so you can do that. Uh, make it look nice and pretty and angle things a bit better than I have and uh, hopefully you'll get a better result 
but I'm going to take a pass on this one in favor of the final pose, which we will check out now. All right, here is the final pose. Of course, it is Arjuna holding his bow out in full force. So it's got that blue bit there, as well as the, the arrow with the screw. And he's looking pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So there's a lot of detail here that uh, first glance you might not notice. So, of course, you've got the arrow going around the back. You've also got one step, uh, one foot going out that way and the other kind of in midair, sort of like he's stepping forward over there. It does look good from the back as well, especially because of that arrow being there as well as it shows off the foot and you can still sort of see the bow. So if you're like, I don't know, if you're into creating scenes but you don't like having the back of your androids facing towards where you could see, Arjuna's great for that. So, you know, he could be fighting Kana who's over there and uh, not need to look at uh, you direct head on and still look pretty great, honestly, from the back. Not that I think anyone's planning on doing that, but hey, if you did, there you go. There's that very one specific person who wants to do something like that. I'm glad to help out. Um, but yeah, he looks cool from the front too, of course. He's got that cool look in his eyes as well. All the stuff is going on with the bow. The things are on the side for the arrow cases. Uh, of course, you can have those as out there as you want. I'm going to have mine fairly close to him and fairly straight down uh, as if he's kind of like standing still or maybe like a little more out. I'm very, very particular about how I like my arrow cases. Um, but yeah, it looks super cool overall. Of course, from the front, you can see the, um, the arrow kind of lines up with the bow end over there as well. So it's very nice. Plus his body's kind of angled so it's not just a stiff, straightforward pose. And uh, yeah, I think it works really well. Um, but yeah, that is it for the video and the review. So let's give him a score. I would have to say, given all his parts, as well as his cool poses, like there's a lot I didn't show off with, um, like the arrow pieces in particular, like this thing here, as well as the arrow case. It's some real cool stuff. He's got, he's got some really great accessories. And if you're a fan of Kano, I'm sure you're picking him up as well because they've got that sibling rivalry thing going on. Uh, so yeah, I definitely recommend you pick up Arjuna as well. Um, so I'm going to have to give him a 10 out of 10 because there's nothing wrong with him. There is nothing I would want to change other than like the legs, but I'll let that one slide because I don't remember how long ago this was made. Uh, but yeah, great Android overall. Definitely worth picking up. I hope you... Uh, did enjoy the video if you did though drop a like i'm thinking maybe next hmm, who do i want to do next maybe something other than fake because i'm sure a lot of people want to see some other stuff or maybe i'll upload that before this and uh this one can go after so there's a bit of a variety in the content and this video ends up being closer to arjuna alter's actual release but yeah, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe for more Nendro content. And I will see you all in the next one. Also, good luck with rolling. All right, bye.